So we're here today at uh, Heatcraft Kaiser Warren performing a high pressure test on our pilot rack for Stone Mountain. We use this high pressure testing system to test our EcoBoost systems, our new transcritical systems. Um, this high pressure testing system performs three different pressure tests. A high pressure, of course, which is 1740 PSI. Uh, intermediate pressure, which is 650 PSI. And then the low pressure, which is 350 PSI. A typical test for one of these uh, transcritical or EcoBoost units is uh, four to six hours. Um, it, it, the intermediate range is the longest. There's a lot of manipulating of valves and different things that the operator must do to ensure that he gets a good quality test. We test each pressure range separately. So we started with the high pressure range today, the 1740. So we test that. If we find any issues, we vent the system and make sure the room is safe to enter. We go inside and we start trying to uh, troubleshoot and find where that leak may be. There's numerous ways you can troubleshoot. Our, our most thorough way right now is to isolate certain sections of that pressure range. Um, and that's what we do to determine what leak is. Number one thing I guess I want to get across is that we work uh, with corporate, with Stone Mountain Safety, um, numerous safety groups on this project to make sure every safety aspect is covered. So the operators that operate this are trained on that safety and the different safety devices uh, related to the test unit. The automated system also helps us ensure that we're incorporating the safety into the test. This test goes above and beyond our normal production testing. We use a, a helium nitrogen blend to do leak testing. This test takes it to that next level, that high pressure level, to ensure that all of our range joints are quality range joints and that our customer receives a, a good quality product.